Welcome to the God Pod. I'm God. Thanks so much for joining me on the show once again. We've got a fun show for you today. With me today are Jesus Christ and Santa. Hello. Oh, oh starting off a little drunk, Santa. You are. No, I'm not. Oh. <laughs> Please continue not, with the show. You're not <laughs> drunk on so you're not drunk on wine, Jesus. Yeah, fucking you know, I'm probably drunk on eggnog. Oh yeah. You like He's drunk on life. I do get drunk on the weekends on wine, but on a Monday here during work? No, 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 no. No, yeah, no. There are some uh, people, I saw a guy, it was interesting, I saw a man outside and I thought maybe it looked like he didn't have a house and he was drinking. Oh, yeah. he probably didn't have a house. That mm. that is what is known as a home a houseless homeless person, G, uh, Santa. Mm, never makes. heard of them. You might call them a hobo. No, I would never. You don't deliver presents to them. You must have a chimney in order for Santa to deliver you presents, <laughs> which implies being rich. But well, they all still get. They all still want presents. I just don't know where to. I just don't know where to put them. So you got to shove it down their chimney. They don't have one, so uh, what I usually do is I just give it to the richest if kids because you know I, I mean. assume, you know, the wealth trickles down. <laughs> uh, well, it doesn't. That's quite an uh, assumption. Pardon? Yeah. Um, Santa, where have you been? You've been gone. You've been MIA for two weeks. Is it, does it have to do with this massive heat wave? Oh, yeah. Let me tell you, the uh, our uh, ice caps are melting, so um, I have the elves out there with fans Trying to cool it off again. Oh, and how's that going? It's not going well. Yeah, I have the vision of Santa just in the North Pole laying on like a, you know, a chair, like a, a pool chair. Just just everything hanging out. <laughs> and um, Just Chris Christie new... style with, with elves <laughs> waving him, you know. The elves are really upset because in this heat wave, they're, they're upset that um, our new... Our new uniforms for them are all wool. <laughs> so, <laughs> it was the cheapest option. It was the all cheapest option. And, reindeer you know, fur. Uh, look, yeah. what can I say? It's it's uh, I. You got to order them in bulk, and um, we got a good deal. Yeah, can't resist a good deal. <laughs> I'm How frozen is that? again. Don't you tell are. me that. Yep. No, Santa. <laughs> but look at this face. <laughs> Santa froze. Hold on, um, it'll come back. I think yeah. the elves unplugged your camera as they yeah, sweat well, in their wool. Well, they can suck on their sweat. <laughs> <laughs> I like that it froze at the best possible. <laughs> Somebody screenshot that. Yeah, that is great. That I is couldn't. Pretty good. <laughs> I, as so, I told, as I told God when I got on today, look, it's working. It's not going to last. <laughs> it's not going to last. Yeah, it's you true. cursed it. You jinxed it. Um, anyway, um, Santa, how is that strike going with the elves? You don't have to answer. Just tell me how it's going with your face. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that bad, huh? That bad. Sometimes that, a picture says a thousand words. I feel like, Jesus, the strike with that started with Santa's elves spread to the um, Writers Guild of America. And has now moved on to the actors. Even the actors are striking. Yeah, Hollywood is shut down, effectively. If I'm, if I'm yeah, not careful um, here. Production on films has really started to sag. Hey. <laughs> yeah, or after, what? <laughs> saga fa cha 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 saga fa cha 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 um, Santa, are you going to be able to turn it off and turn I'm it back on again? I'm trying. All right, all right. Let's <laughs> just give him a break. All right. So, uh, I'm fucking trying. <laughs> uh, we want to remind you, you can support this show by either becoming a patron at patreon.com slash godpod. You can join our Discord server for free. Listen to the podcast anywhere on all podcasting apps for free. You can uh, subscribe to us on Twitch is a new thing. We're up to over 4,000 followers on Twitch, Jesus. Fantastic. Whoop, whoop. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, remember that time you came on and played me in Mario Kart? Yeah, I kicked your butt. It, it was that's great. not important who kicked no, whose butt. No, very, that's very important to me, actually. Why? Really? Well, wow. Well, yeah, it's very important to me because um, I rarely get wins over you. 
You know, you you nailed me to the cross. You watched mm-hmm. me suffer for three days. And um, now why isn't there a some... video game about the crucifixion? It did so well. Please know. with the Passion of the Christ. How come there was no like video game adaptation of the Passion of the Christ? Think about it. Please no. Please. Uh, that would be so fun <laughs> for you, and terrible for me. So yeah. Uh, why why do that. you why do you name yourself? Uh, during our Twitch shows, like my name, it says God, Santa, it says Santa, yours, it says the chosen one. I don't um, know. I thought it was e- fun. Ego much? <laughs> I like how you zoomed in for your little punch. Ego, line. ego much? Uh, Cho- the chosen one? Who are you, Trump? How's this? Now I just changed it to the sun. Is that better? The I father, the G- son, the whole I think story. Jesus would be the best. Okay, fine. I'll go over to Jesus. It's fine. Uh oh, we have a first time chat here. That says that's not even funny. What's not even funny? The, the Passion of the Christ video game. <laughs> They're like, this is my first time here, and that's not fucking funny. Maybe they were uh, siding with me and saying a crucifixion video game would. Oh no, nope, they confirmed. Yep. Yep, that's not funny. Well, then this might not be the channel for you, Angel Eyes M. Uh, just word to the wise. Watch yourself. I'm a lady. Okay. They say. Okay. All right. Well, you know you're on our channel, so. Hey, Lobrilia says Jesus had a pretty bad weekend. That was a bad, that was a bad weekend, Jesus, that time that you got nailed to the cross. That time was a bad weekend, but I actually had a great weekend this past weekend. Would you like to know what I did? Yeah, what did you do, Jesus? I went to see the new Mission Impossible movie starring legendary actor Tom Cruise. Really, Jesus? Really? You're supporting that Scientologist? Okay, I'm not supporting Scientology. Shill. You're a shill for Scientology, Jesus. I am going to see a wonderful action motion And how was it, Jesus? How was it? It was really good, and I loved how when you exited the theater, they uh, gave you a little pamphlet telling you more about Scient- Scientology. <laughs> <laughs> no, they did not. They did it. They did it. Okay. Hey, um, Santa, how's it going? We're going on. Oh, you're moving. Yeah. Yeah, Santa's I mean, back. He's moving. But I'm you, he's, trying he's to fix my back around. Yeah, right now he's just in the darkness. Okay. Uh, so I will tell you, Jesus, that that Tom Cruise movie did not even beat Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny in its first weekend. Oh, really? Interesting. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It lost to Indiana Jones. Wow. In its opening weekend, which I feel is pretty bad. Well, look, here's one. It was a good movie, um, Mission Impossible, but the runtime Two hours, 43 minutes. Yeah. I actually went to see a movie this weekend, too. Jesus. What'd you see? Not a competition. I went with Zeus to see Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. Zeus. Oh. Zeus. Oh. Yeah, I didn't go with Hey Zeus. I went with Zeus. Oh, nice. How was it? Did it, you like it? It wasn't... It It didn't make me want to totally claw my eyes out like the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. I would say that it was trying to make up for the mistakes of that movie, and you know, trying to, is a lot to live down. Mm-hmm. And Indy is still p- quite old, but um, yeah, it was it wasn't bad. Okay, yeah, I'll probably watch that one when it's on Disney Plus. It's probably going to be there in like two months at this point, I think. Wow. Um, well, oh, and and you know what I'm going to see. But it was another movie that was way too long. It was like two and a half hours, yeah. and if they had just cut it down to like an hour forty five. Yeah. Or an hour 30, it could be a fucking amazing, tightly paced movie. Yeah. But they just, these movies now, they're all like three hours long. They don't, and three also, before, yeah. Yeah, I had something to add to that. Yeah? Yeah, the movies are so long. Uh-huh. Sometimes you go into a movie, it's light out, and when you come out of the movie, you're like, huh, got a little darker. Yeah. <laughs> I hate when it's, that happens. Yeah. <laughs> I, and I, and there was also thirty minutes of previews. Oh my god! I know. and only two of them were good. All the other <laughs> yeah. ones fucking look terrible. Well, maybe they were terrible to you. They're <laughs> terrible to anyone with a functional brain. <laughs> no, God. I mean, if there's 
if first of all concerning all the trailers it is insane how many trailers and commercials they put in did you know that dracula is gonna be on a boat in the 1800s who gives a shit <laughs> i'm trying to think if there are any examples of good movies with bad trailers or or or, or bad movies with good trailers Mm -hmm. Sometimes a trailer could make a movie look really good. I feel like it, you, it's usually a good movie as a good trailer. But yeah, and it, but if it's, uh, it's almost yeah, usually that if it's a bad movie, it's got a bad fucking trailer because you can't, you can't, you know, make a piece of shit look good. You can't put lipstick on that piece of shit. So I, I don't think know what why they it would. Yeah, well, it seems like you they just, try. You they do the lipstick. You know, I think they've got the whole industry ass backwards. They shouldn't make the movie first and then make a preview. They should make the preview first, see how it tests with people uh, on YouTubes and stuff. Expensive, and that it's not. So they're gonna have to do some big stunt in the in a preview. No, you what, just go back you and just, film it no, again. No, you present you present the ideas. Okay, how like a guy sitting in a chair telling you the ideas? There's there's ways. Anyway, you just, <laughs> that's a bad idea. There's ways. Yeah, there's ways. How do people make the, all the YouTube videos they make on zero budget? They do. Mm. They make fake trailers. They make fake trailers. I'm just saying you test the general concept. And yeah, but I, think about that amid this writer's strike. Gotta say, I don't like it. But uh, at least you can, at least most movie theaters now, you get the reserved seat so you can show up. Like, if you know your movie theater always does, like, at least 20 minutes of trailers, you show up 15 minutes after start time, right? Yeah, that was another thing. Zeus wasn't aware that there was assigned seating in the theater. Oh, I, um, I saw a film uh, trailer recently for something that looked pretty good. It was, a, it was about a detective named Chinese Adams, and um, he's not Chinese at all but his parents gave him that name and now he's got to go through life and it's awkward oh he's a, is white this a real trailer or is this one you're making up off the top of your dome and just explaining to us well, all just trailers like I said. are made up by someone mm -hmm. <laughs> would you go see my i mean that no. detective movie no, no. <laughs> sounds racist it's, it's not there's a great <laughs> scene where he goes in to the to the chief of police and goes Hi, I'm Chinese Adams. And he goes, you're not Chinese, you're a white guy. And he goes, no, that's my name, Chinese. He's like, your name is Chinese? And he's like, yeah, you got a problem with it? I'm here to solve the case. I'm the, I'm, and he's a really good detective. But people can't get past the fact that that's his name. Yeah, that, 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 that fits. I could see that happening in America. That could be so the next uh, icon, by the way. So let's Chinese get into the news on, before, on, Sa really quick, before Santa I, digs his hole any deeper. Can I just say... Uh, this weekend, I will be seeing Barbie, and I will report back on how it was next week. Here Wait, on the but are we going to see it together? Um, I didn't know you wanted to go. I got tickets just for me and Judas. I'm deeply hurt. No, that's fine. I guess, yeah, no, you and Judas, because it's a gay thing. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's a gay thing. Yeah. Barbie's a gay thing. So. Yeah, so yeah. I guess I can go see um, Oppenheimer with... Uh, Please, Santa. Are you Oppenheimer down? jeans, boots with the fur, with the fur. Yeah, do it. <laughs> Keep it going. They're looking Oppenheimer at her. jeans with low, the fur. Low, 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 low. Yeah, maybe Zeus will go with me to see Oppenheimer. Although I'm a little afraid that that will be a snooze fest. Snooze fest. I had big, I had big yeah. hopes for other Christopher Nolan movies like Interstellar and what was that other one? Dunkirk. Big hopes, and then I went there and I was like, "Dude, I was so done with Kirk." Done. You were done with Kirk, <laughs> dude. <laughs> yeah. Um. Also, Oppenheimer got three hour runtime. Yeah, three hour <laughs> runtime. Just... Fuck that. I can't Barbie... hold my pee that long. Exactly. Yeah. I went into Mission Impossible knowing I would leave halfway no, through to go pee. You, you, yeah. You do. you ever do the run out in the middle to get? They gotta oh, have. Yeah. A, no, I just piss my chair. They need a pee break Gross. during a movie. <laughs> would you? I don't think anyone would really object to that. No, I think it's a great idea. I was told. I don't. I can't say this for sure, but I was told that Titanic had an intermission. It did. 
That we need to get yeah, back to that. You, in the nineties, I can I can confirm as an old person here, Jesus, that in the nineties they regularly had intermissions in movies. Back to that, please. And but now gotta, back to the future, they're just like <laughs> fuck you. But they gotta seat. We got we got money to make. We're gonna force you to watch thirty minutes of previews and you don't get to pee. <laughs> but they have to do it so like it can't go to some title card on the screen. They got to literally just pause it like you would at home. So it'll be like Tom Cruise, like <laughs> awkwardly. Okay, everybody. Yeah. I think we should just start going to movies wearing diapers. And when the whole theater smells, stinks like piss and fart, then oh, they can God. offer intermissions. That's Awful. the only way. It's why the only why, way. Fucking no. No one wants to go to a movie with a bunch of incontinent people. Well... That sounds like something fucking Chinese. Those Adam who make do. intermission impossible make <laughs> pissy Intermission theaters. impossible? Intermission impossible. Oh, more like <laughs> That was totally unintentional wordplay. That's intermission impossible title. four. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Barbie, meanwhile, is like a one hour, 45 minute runtime. That's a good sweet spot, right? There, I heard okay? that is a good sweet spot. And I heard it has a lot to say about this trans rights debate. Oh, yeah. And Fox ain't I, it. Yeah. It's one of those things that's like designed to make their fucking heads explode, which I'm all for. <laughs> anyway, what's going on in the news, God? <laughs> yeah, let's get to some of our fun clips. Play some of these fun clips, Jesus. Sure, sure. Do you want to go in order here or do you want to skip? Yeah, I want to go in order. Okay. Yeah, what is this? this? Okay. It's called a plan. This is God's divine plan. Is there a video in this first one? Yeah, so basically, yeah, there is. There's a clip. Okay, so please tell us a police officer did not almost shoot a baseball. Have you seen this? Have you heard about this? Uh, Let me... No. All right, well, give Jesus, Boomer Jesus, a chance to get it going. All right, so... Yeah, it's inside the article, Jesus. I know, I know. And the, the second clip is the best. The first oh, the one second. shows the okay. full. So a guy hit a home run, right, Santa? And then what was that? Baseball? It was in baseball. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He hit a touchdown into the into the outer stands, and it happened to land right near this copper. And the copper, like, lurches, lunges out of the way in the most awkward way possible, and it looks like lurches for his gun as if he was going to shoot this ball <laughs> dude i've heard of i've heard of lurching for your gun but i've never have you ever morticiated for a gun <laughs> he he reaches for his gun come on jesus yeah. he he wednesdays for his gun he reaches for the gun <laughs> and it's a ho, 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 and it's just you got to see it to believe it oh folks. yes right. oh yes oh yes they both oh yes they both oh yes they both reach for the gun the gun the gun the gun oh yes they both reach for the gun for the gun all right, here's the clip. Santander tags one into center field. Well struck at the ball. It is out of here. It looks like the, the cop was like pulling. Now go to the go to the other clip that focuses one? just on the, the oh, reaction of the copper. Okay. At the ball. It is out of here. At the ball. It is out of Like that one? That is that what you're talking about? Yeah. Yeah, I, it's not really showing very well for me, but well, you yeah. see him kind of grab his gun. Look. It, is he grabbing his gun or is he just falling He's over? Grabbing something. He goes, ah, a ball. Like right here. And his then his hand is like reaching <laughs> for his it's gun. It's that motion. It's that specific motion like you were going to reach for your gun. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, shoots the ball. Would, <laughs> he shoots the fucking Imagine ball. Imagine if he shot the ball and it landed all of the pieces all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> so that was a fun Arrest clip. that batter. <laughs> <laughs> that's an attack exactly that is an attack all right, all right. Um, what is our next clip okay now from there we're gonna go into another idiot uh once again Trump i don't is know if saying, that guy's an idiot i mean he did just get hit in the face of the ball i don't know if it's like are we laughing at him i mean did i miss something it seems well like he, he, just he reached for his gun did he did he that's the question i don't know I mean, look, I'm all for taking the taking the cops to task here, but uh, it seems like... All cops are baseballs. Okay, let's oh. move on. Sorry, I'm really struggle-busting with this today. Uh, let's see. 
So our next clip concerns our former president, Donald J. Trump. Oh, not my president. I'm in heaven. Not my bitch. president. Bish, I didn't vote for that guy. Oh, I didn't vote at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I'm in heaven. They indicted me. Indicted. You don't have to be a lawyer to understand those words. That's very as simple as it gets. They indicted me. They indicted. He sounds like an impersonation words, of himself. Whatever documents a president decides to take with president. him, he has the absolute and unquestioned right to do so. This is a law that was Lies. passed so. and signed. And that's the law, and that's the way it is, and it couldn't be more clear. And that's I will the law. Oh, it, it, you got it. You gotta. You gotta give it to him. He's fucking consistent. <laughs> Consistent I mean, you know with what? It. He never does anything that's surprising. Yeah, no, I mean, he's 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 re he does a really good Trump impersonation. He became president, and that was shocking. And then, like, grab her by the puss, like some of those things, you were kind of shocked. And now it's like he already did all his best stuff at the beginning. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? It's like going to. It's like, like Caddyshack like too. Well, it's like going to a concert and they play all their hits and then and then they play oh, yeah. just like a bunch of B-sides the rest of the time. You're like, oh, all right. <laughs> but all yeah, right. right now he's trotting out this lie that um, a president. I was indicted. Can, you can take. He's he's he is telling his cult that he a president can take whatever documents he wants and that's the law. And of course, no such law exists. And a lot of people are saying, I can't do it. I can. Mr. Trump, you don't know what you're doing. I was indicted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm mostly playing these to hear Santa do his Trump impersonation. Move on, Jesus. <laughs> All right, here's one. Here's a moment from Lauren Boebert at Turning Point Action, the conference. This is a very ironic statement. That is what we need. There has been a moral decay in our country because too many of our leaders have traded the truth for a lie. But you speaking up and exposing okay, that. Okay, you can cut her off. Cut her mic. Cut her mic. Dude, that was the funny she's, part. She's fucking crazy as hell, but I got to tell you, I would. Uh, oh, boy. Dude. You would smang? Dude, I'd, I'd fuck her till the coal came out. <laughs> oh wow. <my> <laughs> Till the coal came out. Fuck wow. the coal out of. I fucked the coal out of her butt. Oh my. Oh, <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, okay, Santa. As she told me, I was a naughty boy. See, this should... this is why Mrs. Claus, you know, is is running around behind your back. I let her scream conspiracy theories into my dick hole <laughs> while, I, <laughs> while I read magazines. What? <laughs> I don't All think right, I this, could get it up for Lauren Boebert. I'm going to be honest. Me neither. Oh, you could. You could. No, this I next, couldn't. This next one should make your candy I just, candy I just thought it was hypocrisy because oh, she's Donald the one. Trump Jr.? She's the one going around lying. Okay. Dude, Donald Trump Jr.? Yeah. Fuck him till the coke came out. <laughs> <laughs> until the coke came out. Coke. Let's, let's hear what he had to say at the same conference. Yeah. I get it. My guys, who I stayed in touch with, many of them just dear friends. They're like... Hey, dude, there's no way you would have gotten away with that. I go, I know. Luckily, I don't snort oh, cocaine. Like, it's not my thing. I don't snort. Yeah, what ah, is your thing? <laughs> Just he, he talks about cocaine nonstop. Yeah. And then he can't even say the word cocaine without being like, oh. Spoken like a true addict. I don't oh, smoke ah, cocaine. $50 on 17 black, please. I don't have a problem. I don't smoke. Where are my cigs? Mm-hmm. Uh, so okay. yeah, he, he's he does a really shitty impersonation of his own father. Yeah. The these SNL folk do way better than he does. <laughs> and Santa. He, I'd rather yeah. have uh, when it goes with sons. I'd ra you know as far as sons are concerned, I'd uh, much rather have Hunter than. Uh, That's why he was talking about cocaine because of the the whole. White House cocaine thing because uh, Biden's probably loves his son and uh, Trump hates his kids. That is <laughs> very true. He's got like a dad. Trump. Thing. He's got a whole succession thing where he's like, Ugh, they're all fucking idiots. Yeah. Okay. Now here is well, maybe this one should be presented without comment, but this is from the same conference. He does love Ivanka. 
<laughs> True. He lusts. Go Megan Kelly. I mean, this is Tucker Carlson <laughs> laughing. Whoever said do it. You're the devil on my shoulder. <laughs> A compilation of him laughing. This is how I've, he laughs. I've spent my, I've spent my whole life. <laughs> <laughs> He laughs like a probably not gonna get very far. Right? Second what? grade schoolgirl. Shut up! Uh, this is running the world. <laughs> All right, like, I can't watch him he... anymore. Yeah, <laughs> this is terrifying. You don't want to. Yeah. No. He's like, he's like Doctor or you know Doctor Jekyll and Hyde or so, like when he laughs. He laughs like he the Joker. Crazy. Yes. He wishes he, he laughs like the Joker. Like a hyena. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Someone should fucking Heath Ledger him. Is he? He's not okay. Oh is he? He's not okay. I no. hope not. No, he's lost his mind. Um, what a terrible, what a horrible laugh. Yeah. Tucker's a fucker. <laughs> <laughs> smite, I want to get my smite in early and smite that laugh. Yeah. <laughs> smite him in the butt. So um, that's that's it on clips for the moment. Well, we have other clips, but it, yeah, we'll get back to it, that. Was all building up into this. Um, there was a great opinion column out today on salon.com saying oh. billionaires aren't okay for their mental health time to drastically raise their taxes i i know th i know like uh, i know three that definitely aren't okay <laughs> they're, mm -hmm. they're, they're they're in a sub <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> yeah this one isn't okay either uh mr mr musk uh, I think one point of the article was bringing up this tweet, Zuck is a cuck, and then the, the literal dick me measuring contest that we brought up on the show. Oh, right. Right. I, I, I gotta say, though, if you're... I hate Musk, but if you're proposing a dick measuring contest, you gotta be pretty confident that yours will, will win. You know what I mean? Mm. Like, a, a guy with a small dick is not going around saying, All right. We're going to meet, pull out our dicks, and measure... Like, you got to know. <laughs> You're right. You're right. You're bringing up oh, a good yeah. point. But another important thing to remember at times like this is, who the fuck cares? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There's many more important things. It's pretty... He, he's really, like, sad if that's what he's resorting to at this point. Yeah. <laughs> Tesla you should uh, make a sub. The Tesla sub, the model the sub. sub. Yeah. No one would go on it. The new you know, Model S. Maiden voyage. God, no, you yeah. a lot louder. Yeah. I, I did. I don't know if you can turn something down. But yeah, would yeah. you hush down? Yeah. Oh, sorry, everybody. Sorry. I don't, I don't like telling people that, to be quiet. But sorry about that. I'm, gosh I'm having technical issues of my own, I think. Oh, I see. Well, speaking of Elon, he uh, gave us an update on how things are going over at Twitter, and he says advertisers haven't returned to Twitter, and ad revenue is down 50%. Yeah, he <laughs> ruined a perfectly okay website, <laughs> yeah. and it's almost impressive how quickly he decimated any interest anyone has in that site. Now we have to pretend that we like threads. <laughs> you don't like threads? No! <laughs> I, oh, Why people not? People only like it because people only like it I'm all I'm used to Twitter I'm I've been used to it for 10 years well or what's more. the difference they're the, the same the difference thing. is I don't want to use a new thing and I still <laughs> have and and now I gotta what start over from scratch you don't that's the good thing about it I mean Why? in terms of follower accounts I guess I'm guessing Santa didn't have very many Instagram followers <laughs> no I do <laughs> I'm hitting like on a lot of Santa's uh, posts. He's he's making me chuckle over there. Fucking hate threads. And everyone's just liking it because it's not Elon's thing. And so we're all kind of doing it to get back at him. But we don't really like it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, well, did I you really like something. Twitter for that matter? It was fine. But let's not pretend that threads is great. No, it's right. It's not. It has a ways to go. But I'm optimistic it will get better. You can't even hashtag. You can't. It, does, it doesn't look good. It does I, I, uh <laughs> I will just say that I was saying it from the very beginning, as were many other people, that Elon Musk was going to totally fucking tank Twitter. And of course. we were right. 
We were right. Mm-hmm. To everyone, all those fanboys who are like, you know, well, he's got a billion dollars. That makes him smarter than you, ipso facto. Guess you were ipso wrong. Ipso facto. What about Laura Ipsum? They don't say ipso facto. That would be too smart for them. Yeah. What about no. Laura Ipsum? How about Lauren Boebert getting yeah. the coals the knocked coals. out of Okay. <laughs> Let's Lauren see some fan Boebert. art for that. All right, well, let's also see another video here. Let's get an update on this strike that I oh, think yeah, the we actor mentioned. strike. The oh, elves wow. are, are teaming up with the writers and the actors. Oh, that's very exciting. I hope the angels don't find out. <laughs> Tonight, massive picket lines from coast to coast. Coast to coast. To a screeching halt. Space Coast. We are here to protect every single member in every category. I just think it's a... A, a battle worth fighting. Oh, I love Ted, Ted Lasso. That was Ted Lasso. Striking after contract negotiations collapsed, demanding higher pay and AI protections. The AMPTP, which represents Hollywood Studios, including NBC Universal, saying, We are deeply disappointed that SAG AFTRA has decided to walk away from negotiations. This strike is really going to shut down oh, every piece of production in Hollywood. Actors won't be filming Cuts movies or hit shows like American Horror Story. Oh, They're no. also prohibited from doing voice work. That show is for promote. dopes. I hate that show. It got so bad. That yeah. show was okay. The it got first so season. bad when it first came out. <laughs> it got, it, it, let me tell you, that is a show. If you, first of all, there's nothing horror about it. There's nothing scary about that show. <laughs> it's on. It's on a. It's on a cable channel. Like I don't. So, I also, I don't know, it I also scared me. Well, you're a wimp. But yeah. um, I no. Can we please go back? Just I want to hear her say "coast to coast" in that exaggerated <laughs> That's way like again. In the beginning. <laughs> I know, but I like that. Oh, that was funny. Yeah. Tonight, yeah. massive picket lines from coast to coast. Coast to coast. <laughs> Play it again. Play it she again. really struggled with it. Picket lines from coast to coast. Coast, coast to coast. What coast accent is that? Coast. 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 It's, Play it again. It's. it's... <laughs> Lines from coast to coast. <laughs> it's news reporter anchor voice. A news reporter accent. Lines from coast to coast. Tonight, <laughs> from doing voice work or promoting any voice projects. Yeah, everyone because... who works on a movie or TV set. Everyone who's involved Podcast in catering, okay. makeup, and production. <laughs> every one of these people is going to be out of work right now. Like the coast to coast. economic impact no. estimated to be in well, the billions. <laughs> Wait, will the economic impact be coast to coast? Coast to coast. Mm-hmm. Hey, if you ever if you're ever at my house and you have a, a beverage, make sure you put it on a coaster. <laughs> <laughs> well you never know where Zon- this is gonna go. You know Do you wanna keep listening to this report? I what? this morning I made myself um some no. eggs with a side of toast. <laughs> Toast to toast. Toast to toast. <laughs> play it Santa, again. Are you on the picket lines? Yeah, play it again. No, look, don't play it again. Stop Stop listening to Santa. <laughs> Come on, play it one more He's time. One more no, time. I'll no, scream. That was, time. Enough, that was enough times. You can jack off to it on your own time. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm going to uh, fuck Lauren Bulbert from coast to coast <laughs> until, oh my until gosh, the cow stop. comes out. <laughs> okay, remember, Santa, spank it before the show. You're right. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, anyway, that's going on. And once again, the addition of the big actors is going to tilt this in the favor of the creatives. Like, Let's hope so. Oh, it's going to. Yeah. They, they don't. Uh, major corporations are going to lose billions of dollars. Mm-hmm. Billions. Yeah. Stand to lose like, billions. Um, billions. Absolutely. Billions, hundreds of millions, and they're already in shaky enough position. They're going to turn around real fucking quick when they realize how easy the math is on that one. My opinion. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, we have a report about... um, DeSantis. DeSantis. Yeah. Not doing so well. What coast is he on again? (laughs) The Florida coast. Coast. Uh, Santa's campaign has axed roughly a dozen staffers in a cost-cutting move. The shakeup is a red flag for the campaign that remains Mr. Trump's chief rival for the GOP nomination, which has struggled to keep pace with him in polling and in fundraising. 
and appears to find it tough to raise enough money to keep his campaign afloat. <laughs> the former president and GOP frontrunner is attacking DeSantis relentlessly on the stump, including last night suggesting that the governor should return here to focus on Florida. In an interview this morning, Mr. DeSantis denied any problems internally with his campaign, suggesting and said that he's the target of a consistent media narrative meant to undermine him ahead of a potential general election against President Biden. Kate? Yeah, yeah, Call right. That's what it is. Some time. Yeah, sure. It's, it's all part of a bigger scheme because you're such a threat to Biden that you can't even be Trump. Yeah. Um, so anyway, we've talked about him quite a lot over the last couple of years because of all the evil shit he's done in Florida. And we knew we knew that he was preparing to run for president. And it's just kind of funny. It's kind of funny that he's getting his ass handed. To- <laughs> it's also scary that Trump is one general election away from being president of the United States again. But it's also funny that DeSantis is getting his ass handed to him. So. No, it's good, but what, thank goodness though that we have a sharp, lightning fast, with it president who can <laughs> challenge never him. Never flubs his words. Yes. Never flubs his words. Never falls. We never have any of that coast to coast, coast to coast problem, right? Well, it's honestly people hate Trump enough to vote for anyone else, so. Yeah, I, I feel I, like DeSantis was the bigger threat. And if Trump gets arrested and then it slips to DeSantis or Pence, that's a much bigger threat than... You know, it feels like uh, you ever, like, are shitting and you run out of toilet paper and you have to wipe with the roll? <laughs> no, I've no, never been in that I never scenario. Do that. No. I always have TP. Um, I have, I have uh, a bidet. Sandy. You don't wipe with right. snow? Ooh. No. No. Mm. Wow, that must really feel uncomfortable on your booty. <laughs> Why a nice, a nice thickly packed snowball? <laughs> so, in some other news, RFK Jr. pressed in her screaming match over climate. I love crisis. how we. I just want to say, I just, <laughs> I must be out of my mind. I love how the format of this show is. Let's talk about really serious political, hard hitting news, but with a bunch of dumb fucks making. <laughs> Jokes about like <laughs> uh, snowballs up asses and <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. And just... Santa, as Lewis is bringing up on the live stream right now, pro tip emergency roll in bathroom cupboard. Have TP on backup at all times. What happens Mr. if I run Claus? out? Of, what happens when I use the backup? You go to Costco and you buy more. <laughs> no, I only we only buy one roll a week. We don't want to, I you know. Oh, that's very environmentally conscious. Yep, one square per movement. <laughs> I think we should move on to ask God. Okay, and, sounds and great. After that, we can do some. It's, uh, ask what is God. that? What does that uh, headline mean, though? Oh, all right. He, let's let's sorry. Let's I play just, that order, Jesus. Let's dive into it. Play the order. RFK Jr. pressed in her screaming match over climate crisis ends with Colin, columnist launching his own natural gas. Does that mean like, he farted? farted? He <laughs> farted in his sleep. Yeah. yeah, one of RFK Jr.'s people was shouting at someone, and then the other guy woke up and farted or something. <laughs> the the entire exchange came to an explosive end when Mr. Drecker announced, I'm farting followed by a loud noise that suggested he wasn't lying. Imagine you get this every day you get, in, get you get such dense l- columns to have to write. Imagine being the journalist that gets to write this article. Yeah, the <laughs> one about the fart, right? Yeah. I the mean, it was reported right? by page six, but it... <laughs> wow, just wow. And then he's also out here, RFK Jr., making crazy va- – he's trying to get the, you know – Anyone that is questioning or really far left to the point that they're listening to Joe Rogan and Ben Shapiro and becoming far right, they're trying to get them to like vote for this RFK Jr. They've come out and admitted it to split the Biden vote in the hopes that the Trump can get elected. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, mm-hmm. that's fun. Yeah, good luck to them. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah real good luck. Really, no, not good luck. Fuck them. Fuck them. Fuck them. So anyway, let's move on to some questions from our fans on Discord. 
our okay. patrons and fans on Discord. They get first priority, folks. And if you want to uh, have your questions answered on the show, make sure to head over to our Discord. It's free. Free, free, free. Okay, this first one comes from Christy. God, do you suppose that one of the many reasons Pose. we... Suppose, coast to coast, that one of the many reasons we have such chaos today stems from people falling away from participating in organized religion or from the quote-unquote religious people mad at anyone who has come to the conclusion that church isn't where you learn to be a good human. I don't know when it ever was specifically helpful, with the odd charitable exception, but now, as a crown on a dying king, it tears at the flesh of humanity, preaching hate and wounding souls. Will we ever know differently? Wow. wow. Deep question. What a, what a deep, insightful, poetically worded question. Thank you, Christy. Um, will we ever know differently? Yes. People, people are going to church much less often in Europe and also in the United States slowly slowly over time it takes a lot to break that spell of magical thinking um and I'm I'm worried that's why why do you think I'm working so hard on this podcast and on Twitch is I don't want to fucking disappear from existence no just because of these dumb fucks so you know yeah it's troubling I don't want to be I want to I don't want to be Zeus out in the middle of nowhere <laughs> Going to a movie theater, not realizing there's reserved seating. No one remembering me. People just openly calling me myths and textbooks. Calling That's you scary. Santa Claus. Call, What's wrong with Santa? being called that? That sounds like a good thing to be called. <laughs> anyway, it's a brilliant question. Thank you, Christy. Let's go to the next question, which I'm sure will be equally as insightful. Okay, this is from Joel. At God, have you ever accidentally dropped a turd from the sky on land or the ocean and thus created a mountain or an island? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, that's that, yeah, sure. <laughs> that's how things happen from that, like, four-year-old understanding. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, that was as good of a question as the one from Christy. This is also from Joel. How accurate was Tim Burton's Beetlejuice with the portrayal of actual life after death? 100% accurate. That's exactly how it is. Yep. Next Simple question. Enough. And yeah, this no, is from if you, <laughs> everything you see, it's true, it's real, all of it. <laughs> and this is from Lord Bacon XXV. The, Santa, this is for you. There's okay. an old song that claims you know karate. Is that true? Santa knows karate. Yes, oh yes, he does. That's why you don't mess with Santa. It's karate Santa Claus. Woo! Nice. Um, no, I never heard of it. <laughs> <laughs> but do I, I you do karate is the question. Uh, no, I do tai chi. Oh. Aww. Okay. Okay. Next question is from Cheshire Cat. Another question for Mr. Claw Mr. Claus. Thank Dear you for the formality. Yes, you're welcome. I respect you. Dear Santa, you give away all those toys every year. Where do you get the money for that? Mm. Ooh, good question. I mean free labor. Right. Ooh. Because he doesn't pay the elves. Right. I pay them in I pay them in um snow dollars. Mm -hmm. But they've melt. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you're so evil! But I gotta laugh. It's so you could have just said magic. <laughs> no snow dollars. Snow now everyone honest. knows your secrets. This yep. is why I respect him. He's evil, but he's honest. We have our own currency, a currency of snow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't just know. Okay. Next question from Christy. God, when you are roaming the earth, are you careful to disguise your voice so throngs of heathens don't bombard you with requests for salvation or new cars and stuff? Um, obviously not. I'm I'm on Twitch talking all the time. So that's why when he goes around, he talks like this. <laughs> Holy shit, that scared the shit out of me. So people don't know who he is. <laughs> Did Morgan Freeman jump on the pod? 
Is Morgan Freeman here? Morgan, is that you? No, I think I don't know. I don't know what that was. Sorry, I was well. clearing my throat. <laughs> but, Maybe yeah. when he does that impression, he like blacks out. Yeah. Are I you really saying heard. that because Morgan Freeman is no? It's kind of racist of you. <sighs> no. Jesus. He goes into a Wait. trance. Oh. Okay. Jesus often whites out. So yeah. <laughs> I wipe out when I surf. Christy also said, did you leave instructions for the day-to-day -day living for early man? Like, no. Okay. Okay. So you didn't say eat the red berries, but avoid the purple ones. No. Okay. What about the Frankenberries? I allowed them to discover everything. Did you say you got to walk coast to coast? The only, the, thing I, the only thing I did was teach them how to fuck. Ooh. Adam and Eve? No. Now, how come Personally. most berries on earth are poisonous it seems really stupid we could real everyone everyone no there'd be no world hunger if but all the berries in the world besides the ones in the stores are fucking poison yeah. bears can eat them i think but we can't interesting hmm. because i'm a genius that's why hmm so, God, how did you explain to early man how to fuck? How did you explain that to, I didn't, to Adam? I explained by doing. Oh. 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 And yeah. Adam kept going. Adam kept going. So what? when do I get to try? <laughs> <laughs> that is exactly right. You Yes. Do I just sit over here and, and jerk it? I was like, Adam, you see, it's like this. Yeah. He's like, I know. I got it. <laughs> No, let me just show you Hold like on. two, three more times. Because, wait, you can also do it from behind like this. Hold on. <laughs> it's like, dude, you don't have to actually do it. I get it. Yeah. Wow. Fun wow. times. Good for you. Clever. But Very I didn't clever. tell them about the berries being poisonous. So Okay. Okay. They just yeah. had to fuck their way out of that. If, if a kid died from eating the berries, they learned, don't eat that berry. They learned a hard lesson. <laughs> what about peanut butter allergies? How come you made that? Do you have a peanut butter allergy, Santa? No, do you? No. Oh, I love peanut butter. I would. Dude. I I could eat a whole jar in a sitting. Yeah. Yeah. Crunchy fucking, peanut butter. You use fucking peanut peanut oil uh -oh, as lube. Oh, Jesus is whiting out again. You do you use peanut oil <laughs> as lube? <laughs> no, I don't. Maybe oh. I should try that. <laughs> Good. I'm known as the George Washington Carver of sex. <laughs> What? I don't know. It doesn't make sense. I'm He's just trying saying, to connect it to the point. other thing. Okay. Peanut butter, sex. Peanut uh -huh. butter. I don't know. Okay, so... You want me to put peanut butter cups in your eggs? Uh, sure. Okay. So 16 Bitten said, At God, if Trump never conceded to Biden and claims to still be president, would he not be in his second term now and ineligible to run in the upcoming election? Oh. Yeah, exactly. Point. They basically slowly over time admitted that he didn't win. Uh, technically, but it was rigged. It was rigged, folks. So, you know, you're 16. You're acting as if logic matters. And facts and evidence and things like that. that and, uh, and, they've never mattered. And if he did get a second term, he'd be like, we need to do a third term. I can legally mm -hmm. do that because I'm the president. I can decide to do a third they term. Passed they passed a law. They passed a law. Because I just said so. Dr. V said, God, when humans thought the world was flat, did you just laugh? I mean, they still think the world is flat. There's still a lot of people that think the world is flat. And no, I'm not laughing. I'm like, how the fuck can you be that stupid? You have pictures. I'm wondering if that would make my present delivery harder or, or easier. Santa, why did you just yawn so largely? From tiredness. <laughs> why are you so tired, Santa? Well, besides the show being an utter bore. No, um... <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me tell you, Santa didn't get enough uh, sleep last night. Yeah. Oh. oh, got more, got more wanks than winks. <laughs> oh. Um, but yeah, no. Uh, I wonder if that would make my present delivering easier to have the flat Earth, or mm -hmm. uh, or maybe the globe is better because you you know you can go around and wind up back at the point you started. Right, right, and you know you got snow globes too. Those are fun. I would rather a snow flat. <laughs> I guess it's up to the reindeer. Like, I wonder what's easier on them. Fly around a globe or just like a flat earth. 
but you don't care because you over overwork them regardless. I work them. Look, the job has to get done. You like get you like those presents under your Christmas tree every year, don't you? I sure do, Santa, because mm -hmm, it's mm -hmm. also my birthday. Right. So imagine if I was a little easier on my elves, and there weren't so many gift aroonies under the no, old tree. Oh no! I know. I know. Mm. All right. Last question from Doctor V. God, did you ever want humans to build you large, large structures like the pyramids? No, that was the aliens, obviously. Yeah. I didn't have anything to do with that. Hmm. Pyramids, uh, what does that mean? They're not that great? <laughs> <laughs> pyramid. Pyramid. I'd yeah, rather a pyro I, wonderful. I also didn't have anything to do with the cathedrals. I was like, yeah, that's cool, but you didn't have to. What about it's the, not for me. What about all like the Greek temples and stuff? No, yeah, no, that was Zeus's thing. So anyway, uh, great show, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Santa, you're so tired from yelling at the elves and it's tough. <sighs> smacking people. A tired Monday. A, tire, a tired Monday. Just another manic Monday. But it was nice having you back. Yeah. It was. Would you nice ever love Santa. coming on the Twitch stream? Santa, do you have Mario Kart? No, that's a no. <laughs> that was a strange what? reaction. <laughs> okay, he went silent on that one. What about Banjo Tui? You want to play that? Oh. Wait, do you do you have Nintendo Santa? You have all the I toys. I have a Switch. You have a Switch. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I think I have Mario Party. Mm -hmm. oh. Well, maybe you can jump on the Twitch sometime and we can hang out. Sure. Nothing sure. worse than, like, a game of Mario Party that you'll want to end. No, I don't yeah, play the gotta, Mario you Party. Gotta pee. I think that game sucks. It does. But I do enjoy that we do enjoy the Jackbox games. Those the, are fun. Those are short. TV game of Mario Party. Compod. You talk about yeah. a long thing. Like, yeah, you know, it's like watching Oppenheimer. It's fucking long. <laughs> Yeah, and those early Mario Party games, it was like you can set it to up to like fifty turns or something. Ugh, Who sucks. wants that? Yeah, no one. Go outside. Mario Party, not a fan. Mario Kart is fun. Jackbox is fun. Um, I think yeah, I would love to see Santa do some Jackbox games with the fucked up answers he might come up oh, with. Oh sure. Ooh, I shudder to think. Yeah. Yeah, but it's yeah, good to I, have you back. Yeah. Yeah. I would. We're gonna do on blessers. A Jackbox sometime. We're gonna do blessers and smiters. Yeah, let's let's do our blessings and smites. I would like to bless. I started talking even though I didn't have anything in mind. Mm -hmm. I would like to bless the new Mission Impossible movie, Mission Impossible: no. Dead Reckoning Part One. <laughs> Unfortunately, this was the first of uh, two parts. Two hours, 43 minutes wasn't enough. Tom Cruise as Ethan Hawke or whatever his name is in, in the Ethan thing. Ethan Hunt. Ethan Hunt, thank you. Uh, Ethan, Ethan Hawke Hawk is the is actor. Look, he's such a big fan, he doesn't even know what the character's fucking <laughs> I'm not, named. I'm just, I'm not he's a just big like, fan. He's just like, just let me look at Tom Cruise and imagine, imagining him orgasm. <laughs> Ew, no, no, no. I've only seen like four Mission Impossible movies. And, That's all uh, of them. I want to lay down an early blessed for Barbie. I'm sure it's going to be really great, and I can't wait to check it out with uh, Judas afterwards. And, um, uh, yeah. Great. Yep. Um, I would like to... Oh, hold on. I would like to... Less... The good children, especially the actors and writers on strike. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> but, oh, I love the way it peters out at the end. <laughs> but I would like to smite the naughty children, especially those overpaid billionaires that that are trying to keep down the working man. Shame on you. Shame. Shame, shame. Shame, shame. Shame, shame. Oh, wait. Here we go. 
<laughs> That's all. And see you next wow, time. Wow, I really um, liked coast, that edition coast. of Santa's uh, Blessings and Smites because yeah, it incorporated timely. current events to yeah. make it new and fresh. That'll never yeah. happen again, though. That was the one time. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's something he really cares about, so. Yeah. Um, I would like to bless you both. I would like to bless our fans and listeners. And uh, who did I smite before? Oh, wow. I forgot already. <laughs> Why'd we just hear the stream? <laughs> I don't know. know. It's weird. But um, all the billionaires and the pricks, as always. I actually like to hear the, the stream as we... Because, uh, listen. Billionaires and the pricks, as always. Oh, I like that part. Yeah, that was nice. Oh, hold on. Why? Why? Oh, that was fun. I remember when I said that. <laughs> that's not, that's not me doing that. I know. Oh, it's on. it's Santa. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. I'm about to say something funny. It's Santa. Hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. I'm about to say something funny. <laughs> and I did. <laughs> Please well, make it stop. This is like a time warp. It's like, it's like using a time warp. All right, turner. we got to end the show because I can't time take warp this, trio? this dial of destiny shit. Thanks for <laughs> listening, you humans. Find the God Pod wherever you get your podcasts. The God Pod. Have it Yahweh. New commandment. Thou shalt pay people a living wage, you goddamn greedy billionaires. The Lord has spoken. Boom. All right. All right. You going well, to uh Thanks for raid joining us someone? everybody. I'll I'll be back on Twitch again tonight to hang out with y'all and um talk to you personally and play some games. So, join me then. Oh, and I'm going to be giving away $50 every nightly stream. Can you believe that, Santa? Ooh, Ooh. that's pretty nice. It's really juicing the numbers. And it's not even Christmas. Mm-hmm. Apparently, people like money. Oh, yeah? You heard that? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. But people have been winning, and they're like, wow, we thanks, God. Oh, thanks, God. Nice. nice. That's, that's pretty cool. All right, everybody. Well, um, have a good week. I hope you have a great one. Bye. Bye. Bye.